Let's start with, okay, the Big E is, is going to happen. How far in advance do you start ordering the ingredients to make the cream puff? <laughs> you guys really come up with the good questions. Thank uh, you. <laughs> Because we've been talking to you for 10 years. We dove into the we've history of cream puffs. We've dove into everything about the cream puffs. Uh, that we, we learned from shit. you. That they come from France. They were <laughs> made for the kings and queens. Yeah. And now, you know, the kings and queens of New England get to eat these. You serve over hundreds of thousands of That's these. Right. But There's how long can you army. store the ingredients yeah. before we actually Chaz, have to make exactly the product? where exactly do you get the butter, Chaz? We want to know where that butter comes how from. How much butter are we talking about for the amount of cream puffs that we're going to make during the big 50,000 cream puffs. got to have a lot of butter. There's hundreds of pounds, hundreds and hundreds of pounds of butters, plus thousands and thousands of eggs. Because that's all it is. It's fresh eggs, uh, uh, a Jamaican-style vanilla, a special vanilla uh, that they use, nice. and um, butter. So it's a lot. But how <laughs> far in advance do you have to start storing this up? You can't just like start bringing right, it in Right, because the week it's, before. So, it's so many. They have an outlet for it, but they're, they're, they're going out there three to four weeks ahead of time. Because they're, they're, they're there way before we start this tour, so... They're out there at least two to three weeks ahead of time. But the Big E's not a year-round thing, so the containers, the refrigeration. Where, it's all where, there. It's all there year-round? It's year all round? there. The, for the cream puffs, it's there. They, it's baked there. It's stored there. Yeah, everything is right on the premises. Stuff is when you're talking your butter, your eggs, they're, right. bought, they're brought in. So, yeah, it's fresh daily, too. So if you think there's a lot of it that's coming in daily. Exactly. Made right there on site, September 15th through the month of September to October 1st. Chaz the Cream Puff Man in the house once again. You actually taught me what a cream puff is. I'm not from this area. Ah. The Big E is my introduction <laughs> to what a cream puff is. But from listeners that might be like me, describe what a cream puff actually is. Well, there's cream puffs, and then there's the Big E cream puff. Okay. I mean, seriously. I mean, these are these are the major leagues, Dibs. They're, they're these yeah, are the major yes. leagues. These I mean, are the Daniel Vogelbach of the Mets cream puffs. This is what he would eat. He weighs 400 pounds, and he plays There you go. <laughs> 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 these are the size of my head. These are fresh, as we said, uh, made daily. I don't, I don't know how people eat one. I mean, when I go through them, I mean, not that I'm a big guy, but half of them is like... Wow, but yeah. they're they are extraordinary. You know, when you eat something, you go to your favorite restaurant, you got your favorite food, and it never change. It's perfect. Yes, they they really are. They're that good. They they are the same recipe. They don't vary. There, it, it's really. I had to eat one with Renee, uh, Renee Danino, Danino, and it was like Whoa! extraordinary. Honestly, they're bigger this year. <laughs> they're, bigger. <laughs> they're bigger than my head. Yeah, they're bigger this year. Actually, that's the smallest one in that box that he took out. <laughs> Now, are you going to try to eat the whole or are you going to try to split it? Uh, I always, like to, go, I always yeah, but, like to go face first to make sure like, I get some on my cheeks and my nose. That way people know yeah, but you're I had a bite of creep up. Am I doing it wrong? No, do what you need to do. If that's going to make you happy. One hand, two cream. hands. Is there two hands. Juice. Shove it in your face. Yeah. There we go. There you go. Get the side. Now you got to eat the Now the side right. comes out right. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. Is that cream like? Just perfect. It's perfect. perfect. Yeah, it I mean, perfect. it's just perfect. The way I like them, though, Chaz, I and mean, I've had them over the years when you come through, I always yeah. get them up there. Bring them home and put them in the freezer. Yes. Like, that's the best way to do it, and in I'm, my opinion. Now, let me tell you, Ben, you take them out of the freezer, Tibbs, you can eat, you can def def uh, defrost them, and they're just as good, or you can eat them as a, a ice cream sandwich. That's why I do it. And it's a completely different taste, mm -hmm. right? It's mm -hmm. it's like yes. you think you're getting the cream puff. It's like, oh, this is different now. It's really that good. That's another. And you know, mine is, uh, you guys drink espresso? Oh, I yes, the, with coffee. Oh. Perfect. I'll but be doing that, that later in the got, show. That coffee's got it. a second one during the show. <laughs> the coffee. Ben the, will be, by, the, by the third hour, Ben will be comatose <laughs> over in the corner. Black and dark. That <laughs> makes it even that, that, mm -hmm. ta that coffee taste. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect with it. Talking to Chaz, the cream puff man from the Big E. All right, let me I ask you this. That. We already know the cream puffs are amazing. Yes. Right? I want to see But this you, year you got bacon bombs. You've got bacon wrapped burgers, things like that. Is but, there anything that you're ever worried about that's trying to compete with you guys? No, nothing competes with the cream puff. I have that much. <laughs> you, know, we, you know, we were talking. Let's put it this way. We were talking baseball before we came on, mm -hmm. and you said you were not afraid of your – when you had your control, you were I was never afraid of my competition. So I'm not afraid of my competition. Right. How's that? Is I that a good – 
that good? So this is the, these are the Aaron judges of cream puffs. Yeah. <laughs> this is the iconic. Of the right. food. Of this is the, the iconic. Food. I mean, we Except have... every year is 62 home runs with a cream puff. Well, this is a 50,000 every year going out. So, I mean, we're doing something right there. But no one's ever said, okay, you know what? We sell 50,000 for a couple of weeks at the Big E. Why don't we sell them year-round? No, then I think I ask you this every yeah, year. Yeah, no, they it's, just keep it's 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 the Big E uh, formula, and it's only coming out for 17 days. He's got some on his pants, just fine. so you that's know. Fine. That's fine. Right. That's fine. That's all right. It looked a little weird for a second, but he picked it up. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So there is a bunch of food there. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. And that's no, why is the, everyone is the shows bacon up. bomb new this year. The bacon bomb is new, but they also have a Polish. I think you got it. They do have a bacon bomb. They have a Polish bomb, which is a jalapeno cheddar kielbasa. Love that. Oh my god, that sounds great. With pickled onions, horseradish sauce on a pretzel bun. Mm. That's right up here. That's right. So up there you go. You, so, I mean, you would kill I, that. But I like originality that you're now they're bringing new stuff every year. Oh yeah, you got hey Louis, and you wash it down with a cream puff, and you wash down with a cream puff. You know, maybe a nice espresso. You know, it goes down nice and, and easy. And you're able to drive home. <laughs> Possibly. Very fast. Possibly. <laughs> Possibly. Hey, you, you know, give you another bit. Since we're talking about desserts, Luann's Bakery is doing a that. vanilla cupcake with pickle and dill infusion, a dill sauce, and a fresh pickle on top. Yeah. You want pe- what? No, I don't. I don't know about well, this. You, you know, but try it, Ben, before you. You're going to yeah, be up there. Before try it. Before you naysay on he's it. He's sweating. Right. I just, you know, if we have a kid, he's sweating. He's well, because he's sweating. Sweating. So what happened was he's halfway through it, <laughs> and it's it's a meal. If you eat a whole one of these, you you you've got a big appetite. Dibs, am I gonna have to finish the show? Or are we gonna you have might. to break? I'm the you, relief you, picture. You are. You're they the call Chaz. They Chaz out of the bullpen. Come on in. The real cream <laughs> puff in this threesome is Ben. <laughs> okay, because he. I can't believe you can't finish that. No, I'm. I'm. Well, I'm trying to do the interview at the same time. Oh it's, come you know, on! No, you things. are sweating. <laughs> you, no, he's no. sweating. He's up the top of his head. Go for well, it. Well, hey, it's a hot studio. I, I'll give you another one. Top of the crust. People like pizza. Yes. If you want to do dessert pizza, so again, we're sticking with desserts. Yeah. Um, you can do uh, caramel apple Snickers chocolate oh, pizza. Yeah, that sounds good. Or a, a Nutella pizza with banana and strawberry. Kids will I love mean, that. That that Absolutely. that's like that's My a home kid run. Loves I'm going to try. Nutella all the oh time. yeah, Nutella's a big product. So that's going to work. So those are some. Those are a few of the new foods that came in. Some of the bands are right up the Rob Dibble show alley this year. Oh my God! I mean, really, John Fogerty starting we're, it. We're off going nineties, right? This year is the big nineties. <sighs> well, before we get to that, that's like the that, grand finale of things. But you got Bachman Turner over. Drive September twenty second. They're still alive. First, uh, 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 Randy Bachman and Fred Turner yep. coming in. First time they've played in America in twenty years. No Kirk way. Kaplan, by the way, is our aficionado with the mu- music. He plays in a band, and so he's and he plays guitar and stuff like that. How exciting to see Bachman Turner Overdrive! You ain't seen nothing yet. Come on, jump in. Oh, this is a good one. You know, th- that's one of the iconic riffs. You know, uh, what do you think about learning how to play guitar? Yeah. Do do major <laughs> chords. B- 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 yeah. <laughs> that was gonna be a, that was a throwaway song. They didn't even want to release that initially. Really? Wow. Producer Fantastic. got to do it. Chris Young is going to be there September twenty fourth. Chris Young's very hot, very hot. I've seen him a music. couple of times yes, down yes. here in Hartford. Um, I'm excited, man. A lot of people. If you haven't seen Third Eye Blind live, I think you're missing out, dude. I've seen them like five times. Yeah. Uh, hosted them like 10 years ago down in North Carolina. Super dudes. And then we'll play 20 songs that you totally know and we'll sing along with. Wow. Um, and Good then man. Yeah. Dibs is Bell of the Ball. He really wants to go see Vanilla Ice. Um, I love the 90s tour. Rob, yeah. Rob Bass was just around not too yes. long ago. He was at the Yard Goes for us. So we just got to see him, which was awesome. And he is a show. Like he Within is, himself, yeah. yeah. Well, the that, thing, thing about Van Winkle, uh, Vanilla Ice, Vanilla. is the fact that he was just uh, renovating homes down in Florida and doing an amazing job. So he was on, like, I don't know if it was uh, HDTV or whatever it was. They get, the guy's multi talented, so he's not just doing Is he going to be at the uh, Better Home section there? Yes. The yes he'll, be yeah. selling, he'll be selling hammers. There you <laughs> go. Uh, Bone Thugs also going to be there. They are there. One yes. of my faves of all time. And if you could believe it, that's uh, that's one of our hottest, hottest For selling sure. shows right now. For that's sure. closing it out. And actually, and that, that same night, Lone Star is a great country, country band. They'll be a court of, court of uh, honor that night also. I, I like the Avenue of the States. Yeah, I, I think because tasting the foods from the different places, v- going into the different buildings, seeing the different states that are involved in the biggie. I mean, isn't this how it all started to begin with? Absolutely. Well, uh, agricultural and putting the six states together. And you know why there's police from each state, correct? No. no. 
Was a stereo? <laughs> uh, um, because each each um, state house is on their own sovereign property. So if there was arrest oh, or something, did not know that. Yes. Yeah, so you would need a Connecticut police officer or a Rhode Island, pe- like Massachusetts, would not come over because you're in Massachusetts. It would be their own wow. police department. I don't tell anybody to do this, but I could commit a crime in the Rhode Island part and yes. then run over to Massachusetts. And we'll let and you Rhode go. Island yeah, can't, touch me. can't catch you. Awesome. <laughs> Let's, let's, let's not you, try that. Think. Let's not try that's that. But that is let's not encourage anything. Yeah, let's not encourage people to do that. <laughs> so every state has its day there at the Big E. Connecticut yes. will be September 20th. 20th. That'll be a week from Wednesday, a week Correct. from today. Um, all, Dib says that's his favorite part. Just when you see kind of like what each state is bringing to the table. Well, I like historic it, stuff. So, I love so historic when you, stuff. When you go yes. to the Big E, there's some history involved. I mean, even the University of Connecticut started as an agricultural school. Correct. So th- this is why we have cream puffs and all this kind of stuff. No, and, and, and you know, um, the states are just have their own separate foods. They you do. Know, and, and which is a whole other attraction. I mean, you could go there just for the states. To go through six states, yeah. you know, would take you a while. So, no, and they're always packed with, you know, you want the uh, lobster roll from Maine, you know, blueberry pie from this place. Connecticut has pizza. So it, it's 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 definitely hot. And we're looking to break. He's breathing hard. I, if, if I just had a burp that okay. was like all cream puff. It was he, if, <laughs> if he needs mouth to mouth, you better pray for tips. Oh, dude. No, listen, Kurt, Kurt's our uh, EMT over there. Yeah. Also, he's in a band. He's also an EMT. Yeah. Uh, some of the bands on the free stage are awesome, too. Dude, uh, Molly Hatchet. Molly Hatchet. Wesleyan's uh, school yeah. band. They're going to be there. Flirt with a disaster. disaster. One of the show's favorites. We always say that. Uh, dude, there's so many cool things to do with the Big E. Like not on top on top of the food on top of the all the bands on top of learning so you got much animals stuff. you got everything I, you got all right so, so much I'm from Indiana right. yeah, I go. like seeing the pigs I like seeing the, the blue cows, ribbons getting handed out I the, think that's the, I don't care how old you are chickens roosters yeah. with feathered feet dude they're hatching chickens at the Big E this year you can literally see the chickens right. get hatched. oh yeah you don't get that everywhere Deb. <laughs> no you, you don't, don't get that everywhere that's my favorite part about it. So you said Molly Hatchet. That kicks off our season. Uh, Is that the first one? That's the first show, yeah, at the Court of Honor. Yeah, Molly Hatchet. Jose Feliciano. Come on, baby, light my fire. Yeah, yeah. He's on his phone. He should be singing along with me. What the, he's our producer. <laughs> he's looking it up. He's looking it up for <laughs> he's you. Looking it up. Also, Feliz Navidad, in case you're checking that. Nice. Yeah, he'll probably pull that out. Top 20 songs in the world Christmas song. I think that would be, you know, no matter if it's Christmas or oh, not, he'll that would play be fantastic. It. He's got to play that. that He's got to play Felice because you know they're screaming it out. So, <laughs> Felice, Jose, be done. come on, sing, light their matches. And he's a Connecticut resident, Jose. No way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think he lives in Westport area. And right. you know what? And, and Tibbs, you'll appreciate this. You're, well, you're younger than I am, but Chubby Checker. I know. Come on, let's twist again like we did I last love Chubby summer. Checker. I mean, that guy's 80 years old, still dancing. I worked Started parking roll. for Chubby Checker when I was in eighth grade. You parked his cars? No, I wish. Oh, okay. <laughs> they didn't let me touch those kind of cars. And again, I'm in eighth grade. <laughs> did you see him? Did you meet him? I did see him. I did meet him. Super nice dude. Yes. Cool. I had to be reminded who the hell he was. Again, I was in eighth grade. <laughs> Chaz, always a pleasure to have you stop in. Yeah, Thank man. you so much for always bringing these amazing uh, cream puffs, and God bless you, and keep doing a great job. Thank you, Tiff. Thank you, Ben. You guys are great. September 15th, we kick it off to October 1st. 17 days, guys. Let's break our 1.6 million record. Thank you for helping me out with it.